M0FXB. I'm excited to get my Flex 8 4000 on air. I did go for the internal ATU and you can see the front case of mine is just plain. It's just a green button to press. But the internals of this Flex is fantastic. Now I've gone for the base model, but it's still fantastic. It's almost like driving a, 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 a I don't know, a, one of the best cars, if you're talking, I don't know, BMW, Mercedes, that's how I feel. I feel quite like excited at the thought of it. And I want to get this on the air for the first time ever with my viewers. And of course, because it's a Flex SDR, we need to download the software and we're following the guide here that's provided in the box. And of course, online, we can use it locally or we can down we can download another pro program called Smart. I always remember, forget smart link and we can actually use this anywhere. My plan is to use it with the Maestro, the new Maestro, uh, the C model, which has already been ordered. Also my iPad and my Windows PC, which is the free version. And uh, we're going to get all the updates uh, installed. And uh, so let's, let me just show you the back of the device as we sort of go through the, the quick start. So it shows you the device, gives you the usual safety warnings that you would expect from a, a brand new product. But then it says, and mine does have the microphone, and you'll see that it's got the FHM3 microphone. It looks like a Yesu mic, doesn't it? Scrolling down, it's the first thing we, we come across is the antenna connection. So I'm going to just show you this as it comes across. So going like so. Just bring this and you'll see just here, we just for now, 49 to one ballon and 66 foot of wire. I've got a G5RV out there as well. Also, I've got a 20 meter wire and a loop from uh, uh, from poor Oscar Mike uh, Zero Katango. I'm definitely going to be testing that with this as well. Uh, but it's in my shack here and I've made a nice space for it. It's, it's like putting a computer on its side. That's what it's like. And the weight is exactly the same. So let's just go down to the next thing. It had power pole connectors. Luckily, I had a, a power pole connector that's been cut. So I just joined it to that. So that's fine. You need to put a powered speaker. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to go here. And I'm actually charging it because the one I use flashes. Uh, but I've also got your normal uh, stereo powered PC speakers and I've got the speakers that are in my computer so that's done uh, just make sure I don't miss anything the LAN let's get that connected just here now I have connected one end to my broadband router there you go just here you've got a couple of USB C's here and note with the microphone which is up here up at the moment it's basically a, a Yesu 817 microphone but it's got separate pins it's got just one of those like audio connector I've plugged it into ptt hopefully that's the right one note there's an accessory port here as well and then you've got another there's tw two pins on the mic and 3.5 jack and it's plugged it in is it trrs is that what they call it so we've got them in as you can see antenna i'm going to connect the ground to here and i really recommend you do that it makes so much difference and um, when i turn it around because it's facing me at the moment i'll pop that on uh, especially when you're tuning shame it doesn't come with a external hdmi but i have got my big tv in this room I'll, i'm going to think of a way of getting the image on there um i know that the 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 maestro let me show you the maestro just above my head there it's as big as the front of this radio, which I've measured. I believe it was 14 inches across, seven inches high thereabouts. It's big and it's as big as it's as wide as my 7610, but it's taller. So this is the real base station experience. And remember, when you're using this device, yeah, you are using cutting edge technology that is being improved all the time. Uh, so uh, it's, it's exciting times. I know there's a price to it. I know you're going to be like, oh, but you know, it costs this, it costs that. But if you went out and bought yourself a BMW, uh, um, you know, it's going to cost. That's just the way it works. You buy a Porsche and we're up there now with, um, with, you know, with not, I'm not going to say this is better than Kenwood Icon Yesu. I'm not going to ever say that. I've got plenty of those videos here. But it's this that you're when you're using a device like this, you are up there, up there, you know, in the top in the in the top devices. And in the background here, I've got Smart Link ready. I might do that tonight. I'm hoping to do it tonight. Smart Link, once you get Smart Link connected, and I've never done it before, I'm following the instructions, then you'll be able to connect to this device anywhere in the world. Otherwise, you don't have to use Smart Link. You can just use what like this the normal connection as we follow this process. 
So as we go down, we've got the Ethernet connected. There's there's a lot of help and support. There's a community and they actually prefer you to ask your questions within the community. Because if you do that, then they're going to they're going to answer your questions quicker, find them quicker. And they're also going to, um, you know, your aunt, the answers are going to help everyone. And that's what it's all about, isn't it? So there's on the front panel, you've got a mic connector there for headphones. I, I didn't even see that on mine. Because uh, some things are on the eight four hundred, not on the eight, or on the eight six hundred, not on the eight four hundred. You know that's just the way it works. And we'll see when we turn it around. I have got a GPS antenna that came with it. Uh, like I said, the 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 antenna, um, the ATU antenna tuner is in my unit, but I did have to pay extra to fit that unit. So there it is. There, there's the front panel eight four hundred and eight six hundred power button, which mine should be lit green because I have managed to connect to a twenty five watt. 25 amp power supply, uh, 12, you know, 12 or 13.8 volts. And that's it. so now we just need to download the software and it's, it's showing you here and giving you and telling you what all the connectors are. We've been through them all now. There's links here to download the software. If you look here, there is their flex software for Windows. There is, I've noticed that there's uh, downloads for iOS as well that I think it's a paid for thing and then you've got the smart link so let's just get this thing let's just download the software and, and go through the process here um, that for for installing it and they call it note the the smart SDI installer okay will automatically detect my device so let's do it so scrolling down there's a, a preview that they give you but it says here download smart installer and download smart installer release notes as well so we might as well click that and look at Oh, there's quite a lot to read. I'm not going to read all that. So I'll put that in the description and then click here, download Smart Installer and just run everything. It's going to put some shortcuts and I've already got 3.1015 downloaded as well. And it, it, it installs everything you need. So if you need drivers and things like that, it's going to do all that for you. So I'm just going to go in my, go here, go Smart SDR, click the app. I forgot to turn it on. Yeah, the device come on. I click it too many times. Smart link set up there. I'm not sure if I want to do smart link yet. And I've put the shortcuts down here so I can find them easy. You just right click and put and select add to task bar and it puts them there. I'm going to click SDR, the left one here. We should get a window finding our radio. Oh, this it's talking about updating already. Um, mm, yeah, I've not done that yet. I might just try and log into it first. Let's just do that. I'm going to do that. It says Flex 8400A. I'm just going to go connect and see what it says. On the quick guide, it says to start Smart SDR, double click the radio in the radios area of the dialog box or click the radio once and then press the connect button uh, that appears at the bottom of the screen. And then it says here, the smart SDR console will be displayed. So let's do that. Click it. Now it wants me to update though. Do I have to update? And I haven't um, signed up yet. I'm just going to click update and just wait. Um, hopefully it won't be too long. Get this out of the way. You can see it there just scrolling away. But that's my actual device there that you're seeing. It's gone the it's gone the dialogue box has gone purple. I can hear the fan, just like a computer fan. Going well. Okay, did the update. We're gonna click connect. I hear the radio click. And it's come to life. So if we hit here, it says PC audio by my head. We can start to hear items. And on the left here, we've got shortcuts. So let's go 40. If you can hear the radio clicking. Now you've got to remember that I have never used this before ever. So I'm doing this with you. Yeah, it looks great. So let me just... Well, oh, out of band. Yeah, base there, uh, 59. Uh, nice audio too. Uh, QTH. RF power up here, look. Uh, 
TX power, tuner, um, volume. That's for headphones. And an aesthetic silver eagle mic, lollipop, old old fashioned vintage microphone. And uh, I'm just going to little, head, just uh, tinker around. Uh, um, half waves, go ahead. Trot, mon, box. So what I'll do now, I'll watch some videos of people actually using this. Let's find a little gap. Keep the power low and I'm going to hit the tune. Yeah. You saw that. And there's SWR here, which looks not very good. Um, I need to connect that ground cable. Antenna, one and two, band, we've got receive, add slice, add tracking knot, let's add a slice, there you go, so let's, and it moves all this with you, see that, put it here, So you can hear, you can hear two, definitely two. Can I have more? No. Band antenna display. Uh, we've got averaging, FPS fill, weighted average gain. Ooh, look at that. Oh, it went too crazy. And so on. DAX channel. I don't know what DAX is yet. But you can see there's a dedicated meter for the two slices. I'm clicking here DSP. Noise reduction there. A and F noise blanker. Mo mode. Receive increment tuning and DAX. So I have to learn what DAX is. And I can adjust the volume of each slice. How do I lose that? There it is there. So you just click the little speaker icon. Be better than it. <laughs> Not sure of the um not sure of the audio levels that I'm setting here, so I have to play the video back and have a listen. Now I have got one of these made by Linovation. I'm going to make videos and this one's got the firmware for um, let's go down it's got the firmware so I can control everything. I can sit back here using this Control the frequency, all the functions, everything. Let's just quickly grab the microphone because I haven't even tried that yet. Just hanging down there in front. Move away. Gap there. One, two, test, test, test. You can see one, two, test, test. So I'm just the tuner. I'm just trying to work out why it's not tuning it down. 
Uh, maybe there it goes. So you've got tuner, you've got tune, like what you use for a FTA, and then you've got the antenna tuner. Tuner is almost like a PTT. You've got MOX. Oh, there's memories, is that right? I need to earth it. If I earth that antenna, it's going to do a lot better. And then adjusting your power here goes to a hundred. Tune power. Right. Well, I think in the next video, I'm going to do. It's getting late now. But in the next video. I'm going to do the the remote setup, you know, the smart link. It'd be nice to have one contact, wouldn't it? TXPCCW phone RX equalizer. Oh, look at that. Nice. I like that. We we'll get a signal meter. I'm just clicking everything now. Look at that. All the down here antenna one, antenna two. Bandwidth, no, I'm too scared to fall in. And anyway, I think that's enough for today. Thanks for watching M0FXB's quick setup guide following. Flex's instructions. Always learning, you know that. Bye for now.